So I woke up this morning and Aaron tells me to pack my bags. We're going on a trip. I have no idea where we're going. Yeah. Where, where are we going? I can't tell you. You're going to find out when we get there. So I'm excited. We're here at the Amtrak station, Union Station in Los Angeles. We're about to get on the train and I'm stoked. I literally have no idea where we're going. So it's gonna come, be great. come with me and find out as I do. We've just arrived in Oxnard. I still don't know where we're going. I know we're going north. That's good. I have at least a compass direction, but have no idea. Thank you. All right, where are we now? We're in San Luis Obispo. San Luis Obispo. It's been five hours. That's right. And where are we going? I haven't told you yet. Yeah, I still don't know. Nope. And this is what it looks like in the San Luis Obispo train station. Oh. Star Trek it. No way, that's awesome. We have some vending machines. And then we have a take a book, leave a book. Here's an Amtrak map of the entire United States. We're in San Luis Obispo, right there. Back that way. Oh, it's far. Yep. If you've never been down in Amtrak in the sleeper cars, there's a little corridor you have to walk down. And it's real narrow. On the left are the bedrooms, the bigger sleeper cars. On the right's a window. We go across here very carefully. And we're in the dining car. All right, so we're here. We're in San Jose at the hotel. I still have no idea where we're going after this, but this is apparently not our final stop. So time to get inside and get some sleep. All right, so which car is ours? Which car would be fun to take? I don't know. Are we taking the Jeep? Is the Jeep ours? Is this, is this the Jeep? The Rubicon? Oh my goodness. This thing is really cherry. Look at this. All right, so are you ready for an adventure today? I am, and I'm, I'm super excited. We have a great car. We're, we stayed at a great hotel last night. I have still no idea where we're going today. Yep, so we're in San Jose and we're leaving now. Okay, and we're gonna be on the road for how long? Like three hours. It's a long time. I still have no idea where we're going. But you get to do it in a Jeep. Yeah. Here we are, pulled over on the side of the road in a redwood forest. It's like the forest moon of Endor from Return of the Jedi over here. Totally. So cool. So, so pretty and really cold. And the trees are so tall. That's amazing. All right, time to continue on. So this behind me is the Weller House Inn. Apparently this is where we're staying. It's the oldest, oldest inn or place to stay building I don't know she home. what home in Fort Bragg this thing is so tall I'm shocked we were getting a leg workout walking up the side of it but it's apparently the tallest lookout tower in the whole city and that's true because I don't see any building around here taller than it so that's amazing All right, so what are we doing? So we're taking the skunk train to the Glenbriar Bar tonight. 
The only way to get to the bar is on the train. So we just got to the Skunk Bar, Glen I guess. Glenbrier Bar. Ah, Glen ba Glenbrier Bar yes. using the Skunk Train. Yes. The Mendocino Railway, and we just got to the platform here at the. It was like a 20-minute train ride, about. Yeah. Here. Get the fire going. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. That was a lot of fun. I had no idea what the skunk train was. Um, they had hot chocolate, they had drinks, they had all sorts of good stuff. They had live music. Um, the ride through the woods on the train was really fun. And oh, what a day, what a night. Uh, I'm going to bed and tomorrow we've got another adventure to go to that I'm very excited to find out what it is. So let's go. All right, so we woke up this morning and we found this place in town called Eggheads, and it is a Wizard of Oz themed breakfast joint. Actually, I think they do lunch too, but a lot of breakfast. You gotta check out this pumpkin cream pancake thing that I got. It looks amazing. So this is a section of the oldest known redwood tree in Mendocino County. And when I say oldest, I mean oldest. Kind of has a little, uh, some markers up there to denote the rings and what happened during the, the ring. So that one, zero to one, coincides with 215 AD. That's right. This tree started as a seedling in 190 AD. That is really incredible. We're here at the Mendocino Coast Model Railroad and Historical Society, right outside of the skunk train in Fort Bragg. That's really cool. Go for it. That's cool. That's really neat. All right, so I found out where we're going. We're gonna do rail biking up the same rail that we took yesterday for the skunk train. So this should be really a lot of fun. Gotta yeah. do a lot of pedaling. That's why we brought our helmets. That's right, I had no idea. She was like, bring helmets. I was like, okay. <laughs> so this is really cool. <laughs> we're almost off. They, they're putting down the crossings. This is gonna be great. Mm -hmm. We're on our way. We're rolling. We're riding the rails. We're literally riding the rails. Well, some of us are riding the rails. I'm relaxing. I had a big breakfast. Okay. Pedal assist, so we're doing fine. Little creek. Oh, it's so weird not steering it. It like sort of self-corrects, right? Flying through the trees. Uh huh. 
Pedal, pedal assist is the way to go with this thing, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. This is Pudding Creek. Pudding Creek it means put in creek. That's where they put the logs. That's right. The redwoods. It's beautiful here. Yeah, it's really amazing. It's where we came through last night on the train. Mm -hmm. So if you don't uh, recognize this place, it's a little brighter now. This is the same station or area we were at last night on the skunk train. We just pedaled here. It's about a mile of track. It's really fun. The rail, bi rail bikes are really neat. And uh, now we're here. We're going to have some lunch. They're going to start on some heaters. And then we're going to pedal back. We're going to walk over here to tunnel number one real quick, or what we can see of it. It actually collapsed. There were two collapses. One, a big boulder came down it crashed into it, then they cleared that out, and then a little while later, another collapse happened. I read the newspaper last night, the paper from two years ago, said they had a um, shoddy construction or contractor company that was trying to fix the tunnel, and they did a poor job and it recollapsed anyways, and then their insurance didn't want to pay for the, you know, the new damage. so. We're back at the Amtrak station here in San Jose. Yeah. It was a fantastic surprise trip. Thank you so much for, for sure. setting it all up. Quite it was, an adventure. It was so much fun. Do you have any final thoughts or imparting words of wisdom? Uh, no, travel travel by train. Uh, go somewhere you haven't gone before. Drag someone who doesn't know where they're going. <laughs> all good pieces of advice. So thanks again for joining us and uh, catch you next time.